I'm Tiffany. I'm Shaylin. This is little Mikey and this is April. Thursday morning, my husband woke up with the fever. So did my little boy. Um, and I just felt like I was sinuses. So me and my husband tested. Um, not really knowing how you test and where you test was confusing, um, but we managed to figure it out. It's just been stressful because you don't want to catch it and you've done everything possible in, in, in your means to not catch it and yet we caught it. Um, me and my husband were positive. Our kids had to extra quarantine because um, their doctor didn't want to test them because um, there's nothing that she could have done anyway. And just, just being stuck with the family 24-7, you know, it's nice to just have some space and like go other places with friends, but you can't do that on quarantine. So I had to take the original, you know, 14 days off. Luckily, I mean, I had sick leave, but um, it's still hard. You know, you expect to go back to work. You know, I, I do work overtime and I kind of depend on that. Um, so not having that really hurt um, on top of my husband not working, which that's no income. Um, it sucks. Um, you know, for somebody that mm, that works paycheck to paycheck, you know, how are we going to get food? And then after being quarantined, um, you know, you ran out of money. <laughs> um, you know, you, your bills might have been paid, but what about the food coming in? Um, you know, the stress of the mom comes into play of, okay, well, now that we're quarantined, what about those weeks that, you know, the hubby doesn't have a paycheck? Or what are we gonna do for that gap? And then he's gotta work another two weeks before he can even get a paycheck. So that's a whole month without a paycheck. Um, it's stressful. I definitely give the shout out to the community. Um, when we weren't sure of that following food um, and how bills were gonna get paid with my husband not having a paycheck, um, Charlotte through the health department had put me in in God's way of Tom with the Good Neighbor Center. Um, he brought us food every week um, and he's been there and I am absolutely grateful for the Good Neighbor Center and him making sure that we have what we need during this hard time. So what I'd like everybody to take serious is wearing a mask, staying your six feet, sanitizing your hands, washing when you can. Um, just these small little guidelines um, need to be followed. They're there for a reason. Um, you know, if we all did that, we could get rid of this um, or we can at least minimize it. Um, a lot of people don't want to take it serious and, you know, it's like a tornado. It, it might hit you and it won't hit the next person. It hits what it wants to. Um, but it needs to be taken serious. We we need to do we need to do what we can to prevent it. Um, and it's not about a pride thing. It's not about oh these guys are telling us what to do. It's not about that. It's it's me taking care of you and you taking care of me. Um, and that we do one person at a time. Um, you know I couldn't even touch my husband when he had the virus because it hurt him so bad. Um, you know, I felt like my head was going to explode. And if we could prevent that, why aren't we doing that? If we can prevent maybe one person dying. Why aren't we trying to take those precautions? Because it's that simple to do that. Um, this is insane that people aren't following those protocols that are put in place and they're put in place for a reason. And they're so easy to just follow. And they're so easy to just follow. Well said. Thank if you. my child can, why can't an adult? It's impacted me a lot just seeing my dad always on the bed and in pain. Um, I mean, it's impacted my mom because she was on her feet 24 7. And um, I've battled depression my whole, my most of my life, and uh, this corona quarantine stuff hasn't helped uh, at all. 
Um, it's infected me to where I was going suicidal. Um, if I, I, all you have to do is just to go out to tell somebody what you're going through and how you're feeling. And it helped me through it. And I'm here today with my mom. She's still alive. And my dad <laughs> is still alive. Um, and I'm grateful to be alive. And it's me telling them what happened and them helping me through it. Uh, take this serious, very serious, because most of you guys could die from this. And it's, it's scary to know that your loved one's hurting and in pain.